I will be using one of my leftover embossed panels from a previous project and using it to create today's card. Stay tuned. Hello and welcome to Creative Coloring with Iram. Today's project is super simple, quick and colorful. I will be creating some rainbow colored leaves and creating a fun and happy looking card. So I have this panel lying around which I actually picked up from the floor while cleaning my studio. And I love these leaves from uh, the Build a Flower Bellaroma Hybrid Tea Rose stem set. You can see that the panel is quite dirty but I thought if I use really vibrant colors on the leaves I would be able to cover any marks or dirt. If you remember, I made two cards a few weeks back using the stem set and these leaves are left over from that day. So this is Crest Solar White cardstock and I have heat embossed these leaves in pure white crisp embossing powder. So I started adding deep iris crisp dye ink in some of the places with a mini blending brush. And then I picked up ultramarine crisp dye ink and blended it a little bit with the purple as they both work well together. The next color I chose to go with is the magenta crisp dye ink because again this will mix well both with the purple and the blue. I'm doing this randomly, I'm really not thinking where my color is going. But I'm keeping two things in mind. The first is not to mix the two colors that won't blend well together. And the second is to add enough color that I have space left in the end to add all the colors of the rainbow. The fourth color that I will add is Aqualicious Crisp Dye Ink, which is a teal kind of color. And this is our transition color between the green and blue. The next color I will add a Sweet Leaf to which I will also mix a bit of fresh lemon crisp dye ink which is uh, one of the yellows that I will be using. To add a bit of orange hue, I will add Snapdragon crisp dye ink. You can brighten it by adding a bit of fresh lemon if you want. Last color that I will add is ruby red and uh, if you want to brighten this, you can add a bit of Snapdragon crisp dye ink to this because ruby red is a little bit of a um, deeper color and I know it looks like a hot mess right now it's so splotchy as I didn't even bother, bother to blend it well but don't worry all the new inks settle after a few minutes give them a bit to dry now see I have die cut the leaves and how gorgeous do they look they're so pretty right you can create quite a few of these and make a complete background of these. Pop these with a foam tape or just adhere them with liquid adhesive. Just pop a sentiment and you are good to go. It's uh, going to be a very beautiful colorful card and, can, and would make anybody's stay. So my sentiment here is from the Painted Flower Flowering Dogwood stem set which I heat emboss in pure white embossing powder and then cut out of uh, with a half tone nesting circles die. I will now add fine black paint splatters onto the card front. Then I will adhere the sentiment with instant dimension foam tape. I will pinch the leaves a little bit and then adhere them with liquid adhesive. It's not necessary for you to pinch the leaves. I just like the dimension and the way that they look. I will then add some control splatters using uh, the fine liner pen. And that's it. Super quick and super easy. What do you guys think? I love it when I can use all those extra leaves I stamp and never get to use. I always have them lying around that I might use them someday. But that day never comes. And uh, I'm glad that it finally did. Thank you for watching everyone. Have a great day. Bye. Hello there, did that video just spark your creativity? And do you want more project ideas and inspiration videos too? Well, if you do, please make sure that you subscribe to the Altenew YouTube channel. Also, make sure that you do click that notification bell so you don't miss a video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.